this short video, we're going to describe the upgrades between our beloved Athena Classic Ionizer and the new H2 series. The first thing is that the H2 series comes in three distinct models, the Melody 2, the Athena H2, and the Vesta H2. And this is a Vesta H2 sitting right here. Uh, the first upgrade that I would point to is the look of the machine. While I thought the Athena Classic at the time it was launched and through its lifespan was the best looking machine on the market, I think this is more refined. Uh, the design elements are more subtle. It's a little bit smaller in footprint, so it's, uh, it's actually an upgrade in, in the appearance, I feel. This is uh, the protective covering right here. It doesn't actually have a little yellow sticker on it. The next thing is we loved the Athena Classic because it, it set a brand new industry standard in a few different ways in terms of performance, in terms of cleaning, the cleaning system, and then when we launched UltraWater in, term, in terms of performance of, of the filtration. So the H2 series offers improvements in all of those areas. So we'll look first at performance. When you're comparing performance in an ionizer, water quality is always the critical variable that you want to flatten. And so we'll just use Reno water as our example uh, to illustrate the power of this new model. Um, with Reno tap water, the top end of the Athena Classic was about between 285 and 295 millivolts of negative ORP, minus 285 to minus 295. The Vesta H2 at the top end of the H2 series actually doubles the, those performance um, metrics and is able to produce in excess of minus 600 ORP. It's also about double the amount of the old Athena Classic in terms of molecular hydrogen. And one more incredible performance benefit is the new H2 series makes acidic water with Reno water, I can get red down to 3 pH, which the Athena uh, Classic was not, was not capable of doing. So much better performance on the acidic side if you're using it for sterilizing and all the wonderful uses for acidic water. The next improvement is in filtration performance. The H2 series, when we uh, upgraded the, the factory filters to our ultra water formulation, we actually included a specialty media that is well known and documented to increase redox in, in electrochemistry, which is what happens inside these machines. An unintended consequence of that media, which produces, is designed to produce more H2 in, elect, in electrolysis, is that it also improved the filtration performance. So if you hold the Athena Classic Ultra Water test results side by side with the H2 series test results, you'll see that the H2 series test results actually are superior. We return more non-detects, specifically in the heavy metal section of the testing, which we already had stunning results in anyway. So uh, beyond performance, one of the key considerations and one of the greatest selling points of the old Athena Classic was the dark cleaning system. So. This is a dark cell, which was the heart of the Athena ionizer, and you can tell that by the two solenoid valves right here on the outside of the cell. These don't do anything to clean, or the dark cleaning doesn't do anything to clean these two solenoids, so they're susceptible to scaling. Um, this is actually the inside of a solenoid, and I'll remove that. And you've got a little post that goes up and down inside of that solenoid. And this piece is metal. And metal is susceptible to scaling. When the metal scales up in this very tight tolerance, it sticks and it causes a failure. In a, an extreme case, when the scale gets bad enough, it actually just shears that piece and it breaks. And now you have a catastrophic failure. And we know that because we've been servicing dark cells since 2006 when we launched them into the marketplace. So we've improved that uh, with the new dark 2 cell uh, with the smart electrodes. And this is the external dark system that controls the dark cleaning in the new cell. Um, so this is the upgrade right here is this small 
finely machined ceramic valve, which is completely impervious to scale. So it completely increases the durability of dark tube cleaning. Uh, we also increase the one-to-one -one cleaning ratio so that it's a true one-to-one -one cleaning ratio rather than a theoretical one-to-one -one cleaning ratio that we had in the old dark cell. The second improvement to this cell is the old dark cell was ultrasonically welded. And if you have sold these for a while, you know that, that the water cells could tend to pop if you had back pressure buildup, either from scaling or hammer, water pressure hammer in your house. This cell is actually sealed with mechanical nuts and bolts, 17 of them to be exact. And we've been selling this cell now for two years and have yet to replace a water cell in a single machine out in the field. That is a huge peace of mind improvement in the new H2 series. To summarize all these points, um, I think the H2 series is an upgrade in terms of the aesthetic appeal. It's clearly an upgrade in terms of performance. Now, the three models, the Melody 2 is a five plate machine, the Athena H2 is a seven plate machine, and the Vesta H2 is a nine plate machine. So you also get an upgrade in that respect in that we're now offering more plates. And in fact, if you're comparing the Athena Classic and the Athena H2 apples to apples, at $23.95 you're getting two more plates with the Athena H2 along with all the other improvements that I've already covered. So it's just a, you know, it's, it's really a no-brainer to step up to the H2 series. Um, better filtration, better performance, a more durable version of dark tube cleaning. It's just you can't go wrong with the H2 series. I really encourage you to step up. I finally did. I drank out of my Athena Classic up until about six months ago. And, and now I, I can't believe I didn't make the switch sooner. I could not be happier with my Vesta H2. Thank you.